to everyone. Welcome to Wake and Stretch on this Sunday, May 10th. And happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, moms-to-be. Um, uh, I think it's Mother's Day in the Americas. I think Europe has a different Mother's Day. Anyhow, uh, happy Mother's Day no matter where you are in the world. Hoping that you have a beautiful day and that uh, you feel the love pings coming your way. So as far as wake and stretch goes today, this is another one of those days where I'm just not feeling it. I'm noticing I'm still wearing my pajamas. Um, <clears throat> so I figured I still wanted to get up and show up to be here so that we could be here for each other. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. And again, I needed another day of not not having the dogs all up in my face and in my space. I just wanted some alone time, I guess you could say, because as much as I love the dogs and their energy, sometimes I just need to be by myself. So uh, maybe you can relate with that. Yeah. Um, so I figured this morning, um, maybe we just do some breathing, um, some nice, easy ujjayi, maybe some alternate nostril breathing to help bring some life and energy, some prana all up in here. So find a comfortable seat. You can sit against a wall if you'd like. Um, you can sit in a chair, you can sit cross-legged on your knees, you know, however you're comfy. And let your hands rest either in your lap, as I have, or on your thighs, whatever feels the best. And let your eyes close and start to focus in on your breath. Just breathing easily through the nose, deep breaths and yawns are always welcome. If you are someone who practices ujjayi breath and you want to move right into the ujjayi breath, go for it. I find myself doing that. And the ujjayi breath is the ocean breath. As you sit and breathe, allow yourself to take notice of any external sensations, so anything you may hear, smell, or feel on your skin. And in these moments when we're focusing on the breath and meditating, it's just observation. It's observation without judgment. Just allowing yourself to be there. And any of these external sensations, as they come through, take notice and then let them go on their own way. Nice, calm, gentle breath.
think from here I'm going to move into some alternate nostril breathing. And I'm going to do it this morning with some retention. Now, uh, if anyone that is practicing this with me, if you have any blood pressure issues, if you're pregnant, um, or if you have um, any heart issues, just be this retention is not suitable if you have any of those conditions. Um, and also, if you go through it and you notice that you don't feel quite right, then of course, keep breathing. <laughs> um, so the retention goes like this. So the alternate nostril breathing I've done before, and I'll just talk through it uh, quickly before I move into it. So you take your right hand, and you can either take your peace fingers and bring it to your third eye for support, um, but you're going to use the pad of the thumb and the pad of the ring finger against the nose. And I'll move my glasses here so that you can actually see. Right, so you want it to come up right towards the bridge of the nose so that it gently blocks the air. And you don't have to block the nostril so tightly if, if you're congested. You can still let some air in through the nostril. Yeah, okay. Um, so the pattern goes like this. You'll start with an inhale through both nostrils. Then you'll block the right and exhale out the left. Then inhale through the left. At the top, you're gonna to block both, tuck the chin, and hold for, I don't know how many how many counts, will, but we'll hold for a brief amount of time. And then you release the thumb and exhale out the right. Then you'll inhale through the right. Block both, gently lower the chin, retain for a few counts, and then release the ring finger and exhale out the left. Now, if that retention, I'm going to say this again because it's very important, if the retention does not feel good to you, don't do it. Just allow the breath to flow and go back and forth. Also, if you're super congested um, and you can't breathe through one nostril or the other, you can just follow the pattern in your mind's eye and breathe normally because that will do the trick as well because it invigorates, well, they say it invigorates each side of the brain. Um, to bring balance. So if you're feeling a little unbalanced, they say that this breathing technique brings you more. So sitting up nice and tall, get that right hand ready, ring finger and thumb are ready. Take a nice inhale through both nostrils. Block the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Block and hold. Lift the head, release out the right. Inhale right. Hold the nose, drop the chin. Lift the head, release the left, exhale left. And that's one full round. Talk through the next round again. Inhale through, through the left. Block both sides, gently lower the chin, retain. Lift the head, release the right, exhale right. Inhale right. Block both, lower the chin, retain. Lift the head, exhale left. Good, moving through it again. I won't talk this time.
Moving through two more full rounds. Inhaling through the left. Blocking. Letting the chin lower and hold. Lifting the head. Release the thumb. And exhale. Inhale through the right. Block the nose, lower the chin. Lifting the head, releasing. Exhaling left. Good. One more full round of this Ujjayi breath. A little bit of retention here, dropping the chin. Lifting head, exhaling out the left, uh, out the right. Inhale through the right. Lock the nose, let the chin lower, hold. Lifting the head and exhaling out the left. Gently let the hand come down, just breathe for a little while. Now, when doing pranayama, any kind of breathing technique, <clears throat> you may find that you need some tissues. It's just the way it goes. Check in and see how you feel after doing those six rounds of alternate nostril breathing. I somehow always feel a little bit lighter afterward. And it's a sensation that that's the only word I can think of to explain it. And it's on a physical level, but it's also a little uh, energetic as well. Like I feel like I have a lighter energy. If you've had enough of the breathing and you're good for today, I know it was quick, you can take a Shavasana. I'm going to do six more rounds, because um, <clears throat> ideally you do 12 rounds. I'm doing this because I count on the pads of my fingers. Yeah, so this is 12 pads of the fingers. So, oh, i got to share this. <clears throat> Mr. Zeus is outside, and he's, <laughs> I think he is hungry and upset that I'm in and he's out. So you had a shot of Zeus, even though he's not outside. All right, so I'm gonna take my six more rounds and then don't worry, I'll go out and I'll feed the puppies. <clears throat> All right, so, getting those peace fingers. I'm gonna talk a little bit less uh, as I do this, just so that I can get the breath in there as well. Um, because as you know, I'm sharing my practice with you. <clears throat> All right, so six more rounds. Here we go. So that was two, <clears throat> two of the six. I think I'm gonna cut out the retention now and just let it flow from side to side. Um, also, I just thought 
of this, if you are someone who experiences anxiety, the retention sometimes doesn't feel so nice. So it's okay to cut that out if you're starting to feel anxious. Yeah. All right, so four more rounds here. No retention. letting the arm come down just breathing normally and we'll move into a shavasana from here I'm just going to shift my angle <coughs> And staying in Shavasana here for about, my norm I think is like 10 to 15 or 20 breaths, something like that. Start to gradually deepen your breath. Give yourself a nice stretch through your body. You can hug the knees in and give a little rock from side to side. And then roll on to one side. Resting in fetal position for a couple breaths. Gently coming back up to your seated position. Take a few moments here. Now hopefully that helped you feel a little bit lighter. I think it has definitely helped me. Now I can go on with the day. Now that I've done a little something for myself, my mind, my body, and my breath. Um, yeah. So tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be feeling a little bit better and uh, we'll get some more movement in there. It's not likely to sit still for too long. <laughs> One day, because even yesterday, um, even though it wasn't that active of a practice, there was still movement involved. So today was a total shutdown of uh, a lot of the movement. So um, tomorrow, we're going to be back on. Yeah? All right. 
Have a beautiful Sunday when you get there if you're not there yet. Namaste, my friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.